Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio 44. Before my latest video even premieres, I am back at it recording more stadiums because that's how backed up I am. I have so many stadiums to show you, so I don't want to waste a lot of time. But I'm going to ask that if you have given me more than one stadium to look at, Maybe if you want to request a new one, let me know if that one will take precedent over the ones that you already gave me. So that way I know I can go in and then, you know, kind of get that one in first above the other ones that you have submitted. Of course, I have a bunch from people who have submitted one stadium. I have a couple things that I want to do as far as redesigning the ballpark at the Moonshot Casino because of the new props. I think they'll fit in nicely with that theme. I want to tinker with a couple stadiums. I want to make that stadium for Frankie Q. Or if anyone else wants to make that stadium for Frankie Q, I will throw that graphic up right about there. He has Athletic Park he wants to be made from Wisconsin. Let's get that made for him. Like I said, I'm going back to like my first, second video. He's there. So he's, he's my guy. He's been with me since day one. He's downloaded the Ricky Davis League. And this is early again. So I really want to help him out. So if I can't get to it sooner the, rather than later, then I would love it if someone else had the time to maybe go in there and check it out. If anyone else feels like they got that in them, I would love for someone to take that on. I will give it a shot eventually. But like I said, I have a lot of stadiums to show. I still have to finish all my Ricky Davis League guys. And, of course, there's always stuff with respect to picks. So I'm trying my best to stay caught up. So I'm going to stop blabbing and start showing. And we don't have to go far to look at our first stadium. This comes to us from Texas Eggs. I do know now that's what he wishes to be called. Texas Eggs 75. JFK Memorial Stadium in the capital, Washington, D.C., altitude of 1,122 feet, and it was built in 1963. Now, I saw this, and right away it reminded me of the stadium I just showed from Arch with this big, like, base around this bleacher section up here in right field that curled around in the center. Arch had something very similar. And then underneath, he's got the anomaly. That looks really cool. And, of course, that one building in the background. JFK Memorial Stadium, very nice. Deep out there in right field at 353. High wall and center. You don't see it much. Another sign labeling it as JFK Memorial Stadium. 334 down the line, a little bit more standard. And again, the walkway underneath the seating here. A couple little decorations above this plaza level seating up here. Or is that that's upper deck seating, isn't it? Coming around using that same building again to fill out the corner. There you go. There's a Capitol building in there. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. I've never done a good JFK impression, as you can clearly hear. Oh, he's got flags all over the place. Very nice. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Texas eggs. He don't mess around when it comes outside the stadium. That looks gorgeous. You got to fly by, or is that Air Force One? Yep, it's got to be Air Force One being protected. That looks fantastic. Huge mountains. Don't worry, I'm not going to zoom in and get stuck in there. I know, uh, <laughs> I think it was Sewell who got a kick out of it during my live stream that day. Speaking of which, do we want to do that again sometime soon? Get on and maybe build a stadium, or I can try to recreate Monsters Park, and I can give my tips and tricks, and then people can call in as they like. I don't know. We'll see. If you guys have something you'd rather do with a live stream, let me know in the comments. Now that I'm having uh, stadium requests coming in through that Google Forms, I, I don't get as many comments. All right, Texas eggs, very nice. The entrance looks amazing, of course, with the fountain and using the Dodger roof. Beautiful. People are hanging out looking at the fountain. That's a scene from a movie right there. You start here and you go up and then. Right? The beginning of like. Uh, <laughs> reminds me of uh, Major League, the shot that they do with the before the last game. 
excellent stadium, Texas Eggs. Always like to start off with a strong note, and you supplied us just that. Oh, it's labeled from the outside, too. Amazing. The stadium's a little bit better than Cleveland Municipal, though, I would say. The stadium was so awful. Such a Yankee Stadium wannabe. That's the stadium uh, <laughs> Jose Canseco's uh, Jose head helped the home run, right? A full bleacher section back here. Oh, I guess I didn't notice that all the way around is bleachers. Excellent. So a smaller park only fits 12K. All right. Excellent. Texas eggs. He's got a few more in the queue, so expect more from him. Until then, we are going to move on. Our next stadium comes to us from a finalist in the 2023 Stadium of the Year contest. Carmen's dad sends us Audi Park to take a look at. It's based in Las Vegas, Nevada, altitude of 2,001 feet, built in 2023. This has been on the list for a while, so I'm kind of digging through to, to get these moving here for everybody. Carmen's dad has a few that he offered to me, and this one looks fantastic. Again, it looks like it's enclosed with the entry gate plan window. You, ha you have to have a dome in Las Vegas, right? At least a retractable roof. This looks amazing, as always. The center field concourses and little areas around the batter's eye seems to be Carmen's dad's specialty. Fantastic. Another pool and the posh seating. Another restaurant with more seating. Some bushes. Left field and right field seem pretty symmetrical outside of the different scoreboards. And maybe different concessions. Sweet. I Whenever I see it, it, it looks okay. But whenever I try to use it for a window, I can't get myself to do it. Because of the open doors and spots. It would be nice if they gave us another window. Maybe we could, it, it, maybe it would take too much memory. But uh, the anomaly, the home run fence anomaly. Excellent work around and behind. Tedious, tedious work here with the luxury seating and concession stands. Looks excellent, as always. See, so you got the Ferris wheel in the background in downtown Vegas with the Egyptian-themed casino. Faced off with his favorite building. But he, he always does it differently, though, and it still looks so good. Using the gymnasium as an entrance behind home plate. Fantastic. And then is it the stratosphere? Is that what they call that big building with the roller coaster on it? Like I said, I've been to Vegas once. Oh, it looks so good with the lights on. Everything, everything reflecting off that light looks so cool. The palm trees out here in center field and this giant fountain. Awesome. I think they've added more to this prop, right? I don't remember that much lighting up from that thing. Oh, he's got a little uh, lake or pond or fountain of some sort. Oh, it's, yeah, it's like man-made. It's like a man-made fountain with all that water. Excellent. Carmen's dad is good. No doubts there. Oh, I like this one. Wait, is this part of a different? Oh, this is the artificial light. Okay. <laughs> it's like, how did you get that one little light on top of the roof like that? But it's the artificial light. Okay. Very, very nice. Carmen's dad has a few more to show us, so we will see them soon. Recreating the Audi logo. Fantastic. The LV out here in right center field. Cola, cola. All right. Carmen's dad, thank you again. 
for joining the contest. Thank you again for all your stadiums, and we'll see more from you soon. This creator debuted in Studio 44 in my last video. That hasn't even premiered yet. It's going to premiere in about two hours. Marathon Oil Park, ranked. It's in Toledo, Ohio. It's got an altitude of 255 feet, built in 1985. And he told me the fun part about this stadium is that there's water all over the place. <laughs> He's got some creative stadiums. They're fun. Well, these guys are all hanging out here, ready to get on the boat. Awesome. There's a couple guys on the boats. You got another dock over here with the fountain on top. That looks awesome. Yeah, these are fun. Concession stands for when you're waiting for your ride to get around the stadium. It stinks that you can't put it right here in center field. He's got a home run apple coming up out of the water. I love it. Marathon Oil Park. This is cool right here, this little walkway. Oh, it's, it's from the building, right? Yeah, he's blended them together. Very nice. With the clock out here in left field. We're hitting a lot of splash shots, that's for sure. We got a little clubhouse right behind home plate with some boats there, too. He's got boats all over the place. That's a cool deck right down the first baseline. Fun. Again, it doesn't seem to be going for realistic, but they're certainly fun ideas. Which building is that? Oh, okay, yeah, I know that one. That one's a huge, huge one. And then you can go in under here, and there's a big tiger statue you can check out. People are hanging out in there. Some of these stadiums can be fun to explore with all these little nooks and crannies. I'm probably zoomed in too much. There we go. Let's get back in here. All right, there we go. The little games buildings out here. I don't have my volume turned up today. <laughs> I've I've accepted the fact that there's just sound now, and eventually I'm going to hear it, but I'm, I'm, I don't have my volume turned up today. But I was pretty sure that's a building, right, that the sound was coming out of. He's got the new giant pier back here behind home plate with the stakes in St. Louis building. Circled off entirely with the stadium, okay, or with that building. Very nice. Is Tiggity Stank? Is that is that what you're going for? I I I, I should have asked you in the emails we've gone back and forth with. If you do want to get get in touch with me outside of YouTube, uh, feel free to do that on my Facebook page, or I do have an email set up just for Studio Forty Four now. Um, so if you if you're not on Facebook or whatever, you could always reach me at Sewell Twenty One's Discord server too. What's my email address? Studio 44 PS, Phil Sherman, at gmail.com. Feel free to email me all you like at that email address. Studio 44 PS at gmail.com. Set it up just for stadium creator business. It's the official email address of that Facebook page, which you can find a link for right in the description. Now, here's where those minor league buildings actually looks pretty cool. Everybody seems to hate this little press box thing or whatever it is, whether it's supposed to be luxury seating or whatever, right above the stands. But it looks cool here, you know, kind of uh, with the Hit It Here Cafe glove and Hit It Here sign. I like it. It's Tiggity Stank. I love it, buddy. He asked, he asked for me to type some stuff out in an email about what I thought of the stadiums. And I'm like, you know what? I, I can tell you better by showcasing them. And he said, all right, go ahead, showcase them. And I like them. They're fun. A lot of fun. And there's more to see from him, so be on the lookout. Mogo Pens has another stadium for us. This is Lincoln Park. It's in Boulder, Colorado, I'm thinking, maybe. It's the only Boulder I'm aware of. I'm sure there's another Boulder outside of Colorado, but I know there's a Rochester, Minnesota. I think there's more Rochesters, but uh, Minnesota and New York are the two that I hear of the most. Lincoln Park, Boulder, Colorado, altitude of 500 feet. Well, maybe not Colorado if it's only 500 feet. Built in 2024. And Mogo 
Pens has some fun stuff. This is the one I decided to go with next. I like this little concourse above the field level seating he has out here in right field. Excellent. I'm sure that upper deck is reachable. 334 down the line. So yeah, it should be reachable up there. Man, I've got to get I've got to get my guys created. Uh I went through the same thing last video. I'm so, uh, I just can't get myself to st sit down. Maybe I just need to stay up all freaking night one night and just make my guys. I have my team completed. I think Mark's pitcher's done, and I have, like, one other team done, or at least started. The Brooklyn Bomb Squad I have started. This this is great. This looks really cool out here. The way it kind of curves around the corner all the way into right center field where it's interrupted by these rocks. Excellent. Making the waterfall look really good. Center field. Well, left center field, I should say. Hosts an anomaly. That looks fantastic with the trees behind it. The net protecting them. See, I would want home run balls in there. Take that net down. What are you guys' feelings on the Nets? One of my favorite things about going to Red Wing games was that you could always get close to the field. It was easier than a major league game. It's, the tickets are cheaper. There's less people going, so there's less competition for those seats. You can get really close to the team, the game. And now the freaking Nets are up. And I get it. You know, No one wants to see a little girl hurt or killed. or you know. So I get it. <sighs> But those injuries are so rare. This looks amazing out here. This little Hall of Fame area. Awesome. With the this is nice. I like that a lot. And then it ends with the circle. Beautiful Mogo pens. Beautiful. An excellent staircase. Leading you to the What the fuck do you call these buildings? Convention Center, awesome. Mogul Pens, this is a, uh, this is a great stadium. Lincoln Park, they're a band too, right? I don't have I don't have. I'm not a big music guy. Throughout my whole life, there's about fifteen hundred songs I I would rather listen to over and over and over and over and over again than branch out too much in music. Anomaly surrounding center field. But I know they're a band, right? They're not the one everybody hates. The Nickelback is the one everybody hates, right? Well, I just heard the news today. That song's terrible. Quirky outfield dimensions. That's custom, right? I don't think there's a template that looks like that. A lot going on outside, especially in left center here with the convention center. Mogul pens. This stadium's great. I love it. Hitting home runs into the water and the bricks. Maybe, maybe in a home run derby you can get up into the Hall of Fame area. I love that left field, how it curves around into the stands and right. Excellent. And like I said, this concourse is really cool. Oh, he's got that stone wall out there that looks good pretty standard around and behind except for the scoreboard and the only two decks behind home plate fantastic mogul pens is another one of those creators that we have a few more in the queue so you'll see more from him very soon as well all right thank you mogul pens lincoln park i love it okay we have queen's park next it's in queen's new york new york city 2500 feet is the altitude built in 2024 and stephen k is giving us this stadium i believe it's his first here in studio 44 um, it looks pretty simple, but it's using the new props, so I wanted to get in here and actually see one with the new props. I mean, it's basically just taking the new props and lining them up how you would.
So if you haven't seen one, how it would look, this is pretty much how it would look. Stephen K, 3001. See, I like, I like this guy. There's got to be a way to use that better. I think that's one that could blend in to another stadium. I don't know. I guess it can be tough with that color steps because you can change the color of the seats, right? But I really like having that those windows with the two separate decks. I think that looks really cool. He's got all the roofs up there kind of scattered. And he's got futuristic buildings in the background. All right, Stephen K. I mean, there's not a lot to say about the stadium, but I appreciate you checking in with us and wanting to get a stadium in. And it gives us a new look at the new props. I do have other stadiums on the docket for today with new props. And I definitely want to... I hate the fact that I probably have to start from scratch with the ballpark at the Moonshot Casino. I, I've tinkered with it a very little bit. I just bought a PlayStation Portal. So I can leave the PlayStation up here and do it on my phone downstairs. That way I don't have to keep dragging the PlayStation back and forth. I figured it would be good for making Ricky Davis League guys too. I can make it from my chair now instead of having to take the thing down and blah, 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 blah. And like I've always said, the reason I like to do it is because I like to, you know, be able to socialize with my wife. I don't want to come up here in the studio and while she's downstairs watching TV and the little time that she has off because she's a nurse. So, yeah, we have TVs all over the house, so we can try to be together on her on her time off. We had a great weekend together. We saw Phantom Menace in the movie theater. That's now my 10th time seeing it in the movie theater because I saw it nine when it initially released. Such big memories. I might as well tell this story real quick. Uh, you'll, you might hear it on Respect the Pick, too, if you watch Respect the Pick, but 1999, huge Star Wars fan. We haven't seen a movie in 15 years in the movie theater, uh, 16 years, whatever it was, 83, 82, Return of the Jedi came out. And Return of the Jedi is the first movie I remember seeing in the movie theater. I was like four. But there's barely parts I remember. The, mo the one I remember most is Han flipping the guy over his shoulder in the, in the forest of Endor. So 1999... We wanted to see it opening night, and that's one thing I miss because now the movies come out Thursdays. They come out the Thursday before the release day, right, which is usually a Friday. So with Phantom Menace, at midnight on the Thursday before, they were going to have midnight screenings in this one rinky-dink little theater in a town you know, off, you know, a suburb of Rochester was playing it at midnight. And I was like, that's our ticket to get in. So we got tickets to that rinky dink little theater. Four or five of us showed up. My brother, I want to say one of my best friends from high school and my cousin's husband went and there's people dressed up and we were the first ones in line to get in the, the theater because there weren't assigned seats then. So we wanted to get good seats. And then by the time it was done, the, the line was all the way down the plaza. And we get in there and the owners are excited and they're giving us our popcorn and stuff like that. We sit down and before they played any previews or any, you know, um, newbie or anything like that, the female owner of the of the place came out and she screams at us are you guys ready for star wars and we're like yeah! and she goes we're counting down 10 9 and the whole theater's counting down with her and she gets to three two one star wars yeah! the following preview is rated pg Boom! <laughs> Fast forward! Everyone's screaming because the previews were coming on. Oh my god, it was so fun. And then later, watching episode two when Yoda came out and everyone applauded for Yoda. Oh, it was so fun. I'm sorry. Thank you for bearing with me with my with that story. But even though Phantom Menace was far from the best movie in the series, everybody everybody hate Jar Jar Binks or today. Misunderstand. Oh, oh, oh no. I get it. Everyone hated Jar Jar, but it it involves one of the best memories of my life. You know, the anticipation of that movie and people. Um, I was going to see movies I didn't want to see just to see the trailer in the theater. 
I remember seeing Ice Age. Yeah, I, I saw I saw Star Wars ten to, uh, nine times when it first came out, and then this was my tenth. Now see it in the, in the theater. Uh, I saw Force Awakens ten, so they're tied. Force Awakens beat Phantom Menace, and now they're tied. So, all right, enough of me nerding out. Hey, sorry for this, but I was going through the gamer tags of some of the people in this video, and I noticed that Stephen K had a couple versions of Queens Park, and I wanted to make sure I got the right one. So um, I wanted to dip in here real quick and just show this one for Steve. Very fun out in center field that you have the San Francisco batter's eye and a big scoreboard out in left center with the Ferris wheel back there. Love it. Then you got a little park behind the pond. Couple boulders sticking out there. Whoa! There you go. Is that part of the stadium? Going a long way for some ballpark eats. Must have good food back there. Same thing with Buddy M's. The park's back here. More concession stands and restaurants and some fans on the bleachers. Can you see the game from back here? Mm, part of it. I dig it. I like this. He's got the concessions turned in so people under here can grab a bite. Using the new props mixed in, mixed in with the classic style second deck here. Plaza seating, old school again. Using the warehouse to face off the stadium. Has the Pittsburgh staircase behind him. All right, little village out here in left. Oh, it surrounds the whole stadium. Or at least the whole left field. Queens Park. I'm sorry, I'm so rushed in the stadium. I didn't even go through it. Queens, New York, altitude of 2,500 feet, built in 24. Like I said, I'm I'm already well into editing this video, and I saw this, so I just wanted to record it and throw it in real quick. I know this video is going to be long enough. Yeah. He's got palm trees out there and all kinds of stuff. Lit up. The stadium looks nice as well. I like the Ferris wheel. I never really paid much attention to it when it's dark. Very nice. This is part of the Ferris wheel, right? This part right here? Yeah. It's like the line to get in the Ferris wheel. All right, Stephen K. Welcome to Studio 44, buddy. Let me know when you have new stuff. Very, very nice. Just to put a bow on Star Wars talk real quick. Saturday was May the 4th. That's why, you know, we went and saw Phantom Menace. After we saw Book of Mormon, by the way, in Rochester. Love Book of Mormon. I'm a huge South Park guy. So, anyway. A lot of what we do with respect to pick is a lot of times we'll base an episode on a top 11 list. So, what we decided to do, because we haven't released a Star Wars yet. We're waiting for something big enough to come out to have a Star Wars-based episode. So, what we did is Mark put together... A couple of lists. I think it's Star Wars movies and Star Wars characters. We always rank them from 11 all the way down to 1. He released just the list real quick. So if you're on TikTok, look for Respect to Pick. It, 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 and again, you have to be a big enough Star Wars geek for it too. But check out our rankings and see if you agree with our rankings. And then what I think we're going to do is, now that those are released, on, we wanted to have something to go out May the 4th. I mean, we're a nerd show. we got to have something. So we got that released. Go in and check it out. See if you like it. See if you agree with our list. And then I think we're going to record an episode later discussing why we like certain movies better than the others. So, okay, we're done. We're moving on to Slick102544. Just showed a stadium from him, and I loved it. Music City Ball Grounds in Nashville, Tennessee. Altitude of 554 feet, and it's not going to be ready until 2030, but right away I'm turned to this. What is all this? Oh, it's chain link fence. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, do we have a new way to do roofs? That looks really good. Using the escalator as like the base or a frame of a window and then throwing in the chain link. Chain link. From far away, it looks amazing. I always hate when I have to use chain link, like a lot of times for field level seats. If I have a field level seating section not close to a, a fence, a home run fence or a 
you know, out of out of play fence. I'll use this to line it up. And I never cared how it looked because it looks kind of chintzy, you know, kind of cheap. But from far away, that window looks amazing. And then he's got the signs in the middle of all of them. Excellent, excellent work, Slick. I like that a lot. So is, is this supposed to be a... Tra yeah, I think so. Retractable roof, all right? Yeah, I've, I've seen people use this one before. It looks like it's just going to slide in together. So good. He's got the anomaly in center field with the scoreboard on top. Little concession stand out here in left center field on top of a concourse. Oh, okay. It's... All right, there's like a skinny one on top of a bigger one. All right, all right. This is a cool idea, having the canopy of this. What do you call this part? A canopy? What, what else would that be? As part of this building right here, over the grass is a, is a great idea. Great use of the corner with the fountain and some greenery. Pretty standard around and behind. Another good corner with different layers of picnic tables. I like using these. I, I love that as a facing. Plus, it's I think it's cheaper to use that railing. And he did it up here, too, with this restaurant. Which I think we all agree is from Cleveland, right? And then he's got some different levels back here with the wiffle ball field. And some people are hanging out. He's got a bridge that takes you to this building. Awesome. And then it goes around and behind. Got a stage back here for maybe some shows before and after the game. Some buildings with people hanging out on their balcony. Maybe it's a little hotel. Nice work, Slick. Oh, there's people hanging out out here, too. Yep, can they see from this corner? Yeah, they can see. Excellent. That's beautiful. Slick. 10, 25, 44. I think your stadium was the Arizona one. I, you'd think I'd remember. I just edited it last night. But I got so many. Oh, my frustration with the infield dirt. I love the color of the dirt. I love the darker. It looks like it was just wet down like it would be. But I hate a stupid cut. I like the cut to be more like this around all the bases. I think it makes the white lines pop when it's a darker dirt. Center field looks really good. Oh, I didn't even talk touch base on this one. Some well, you guys see it in the live streams. You you would be so amazed at how horrible I am at speaking if I if I didn't edit as much as I did. Very very nice. I always like these. I these are fun. Where they go straight back like that, a la Abbott's Field. I just wish they would fix this problem. Looks like the foul pole's glued to the fence. I can't get over this window. So good. With the signs in the middle and the... Ugh. Excellent, excellent work, Slick. Did we turn the lights on yet? Looking really good. Is that our thumbnail? That might be our thumbnail. That looks really nice. Well, the bridge doesn't take you anywhere, but it's cool to have it there, bringing you right into the park. Awesome. Slick. Really enjoyed it, buddy. Hope to see more from you soon. I've showed both the stadiums you've submitted to me now, and I like them both. Give me some more. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the latest from the man, the myth, the legend, the winner of the 2023 Stadium of the Year contest, Murph075. He sends us East St. Louis Budweiser Stadium version 2. It's in East St. Louis, he said, where he grew up, max altitude, built in 2024, said it's across the Mississippi with a view of the Mississippi River with the view of St. Louis, and it's a nod to his dad who worked at the Budweiser factory for years and years and years and years. I, I thought it was over 30. For some reason, I have three written down, 
But, I mean, this freaking thing looks gorgeous. I mean, it's Murph. What do you expect? A smaller stadium. I love using the anomaly for this little building out here. And then there's a bunch going on on top. Little bleacher section out here. People are partying right here. I'm guessing this is the Mississippi River with the steamboats. Hey, I called it a steamboat. I didn't call it a tugboat today. A bunch of them are lined up right here to create this building. Awesome. East St. Louis steamers. Definitely gives you more of a minor league park vibe, but it's gorgeous. Using that little condo type building to face it off in center field. I wonder if he fell victim to some missing stuff. Seems like he wouldn't leave those hanging like that. Maybe that's supposed to be like that. I don't know. You never know with this game anymore, do you? This river looks so good. All the cars parked along. Giant, giant stairs. And there's the arch. Capitol building out here with the park in front. I mean, I'm guessing this is what St. Louis looks like. And then what's out here? It's the stadium. It's the football stadium. Okay. Closed it off with that one apartment building and then gave it a roof with the gymnasium. Excellent. He said in the live stream he's he's got it down to four hours building a stadium. What's over here? Is this supposed to be another ballpark? Is this is this Bush Stadium? Could be, I guess. He just wants you to see the shell, obviously. Maybe he could have fit the minor league or the little league prop in there. So good. Riverfront Casino. I'm in. Let's play some poker. Took third place last week. Had pocket tens. King came on the flop. And I chickened out. I should have bet it hard. Instead, I was scared of the king. I checked. Player behind me checks. Next card, an ace. I check again. He bets big. I knew this son of a bitch hit his ace. That's the hand I regret that the most out of that. Chicken shit with your pocket tens. Bet it. Beautiful out here. It's just every stadium he makes, it looks like it, it could be real, you know? I, I feel like I've been here. Same thing with Arch. That's that's what I was trying to say in the League of Their Own Park that he made. I just feel like I've been there. So good. I'm jealous. As much as you're... I love your stadiums, Murphy. Piss me off at the same time. <laughs> oh boy, I'm kidding, of course. My channels are so much better because you send me stadiums to show. Look at that. You got competition for your thumbnail now, Slick. That, I mean, it's freaking amazing. Is there a way to get the field in there as well? field in the arch i've never been to st louis i hear it's a great baseball town i mean none of the other sports survived football left at least once right i, I want to say they left twice the cardinals and then we've never had basketball there but they love their baseball love to live in a place where baseball is number one i'm in rochester when i was in when i was in high school everybody played soccer I have more fun watching paint dry than watching soccer. Sorry if I offend any soccer fans. Blech. Soccer's terrible. Ah. Right field looks so good. Now, you have to refresh my memory, Murph. I think you said this is original, right? right? It's not a recreation. It's not like a minor league park. Like, I know Yankee Stadium said Stanton Island Yankees, which is close to, you know, Yankee Stadium and the Yankees and stuff. Like, they don't have... 
a minor league team this close, right? I mean, I guess it could be like a semi-pro league or something like that, but I mean, either way, it's gorgeous, and I love it, and I definitely want to play some RDL Legends games in here, especially since I play the AAA and AA teams because we have so many good players. You know, it's fun to play. Those are almost more fun to play the big league teams because the sometimes on the Legends rosters, they don't pay as much attention. So you get a few AAA and AA guys in there, and then the Ricky Davis League Legends just mash them. Oh, good idea putting a scoreboard behind so these guys can see what's going on. Fantastic. <sighs> all right. Well, I feel like I could spend all day in a Murph Stadium, but... I still got lots to show you guys, so let's get there, turn the lights on, and move on. Okay, we're cruising through. I'm going to, I've decided I'm just going to go through and clear them all out. I don't care how many stadiums are in this video. If you can't stay for a two-hour long premiere, maybe don't, maybe don't uh, put aside time for the premiere, or, or you can stay as long as you want. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go through and I'm going to do, I'm going to clear out everybody who's done two or less. I'm going to get them all out. I want to I wanna get some other stuff done. I want to make a new stadium. I want to make my guys. I want to record a video of my stadiums that I've tinkered with. But this is Regal Beagle Park from Jedi Yank. It's in Hillview, California. 3,425 feet, built in 2024. And, of course, the multiple anomalies put together. How many is that? Three? That looks really good. That kind of offsets that weird... Oh, that's the real one. Center field, how it's, like, crooked and sticks out. That kind of offsets that. I like it. Jedi Yanks Dairy Park is what kind of introduced me to anomalies in the first place. So, thank you, Jedi Yank. I love it. Does anyone know where it originated from? Who found it? And if they can do that, why can't they find a way to unread this? I mean, I don't want too much overhanging. I don't want to make a mess of things like that stupid Wrigley Field where the Philly um, batter's eye in the middle of everything. But it would be nice to have a little bit of an overhang or be able to fill stuff in in those quirky spots that I always complain about. This I've tried to do before, but this looks better. Using that as kind of a facing. Because it's got the multicolored. I, th I thought that was a good idea. Oh, I like this little section right here. The Regal Beagle. Oh, the little grass section in front. That's fun. Jedi Yank's got good stuff. He was involved in that live stream. It was fun to talk to him, fun to hear from him. Cool little courtyard back here with all these buildings and grass section and the Creole dugout. People are in line to get in there. People are in line to do that at one of uh, his Tickety Stanks stadiums, too. It must be a popular place. Is it all seafood, though? I don't like seafood. Closest thing I eat to seafood is tuna fish. I have had calamari once. Calam calamari? Calamari? I don't know. I had it once. It was all right. We went to this big fancy steak place for one of our anniversary dinners, and they were late with our steaks, so they offered us some free calamari. And it was pretty good. We tried it. I wouldn't order it again. I'm not a big seafood guy. I wish I was because I hear it's better for you, right? Cool little park out here to finish off that courtyard. Is that what you'd call that? They call them the little baseball villages, right? where there's all the shops and restaurants and stuff faced off with the brick pillar buildings. Are those brick or not brick? Is it brick? Yeah, it's wood, the wood pillars. I like how that building's set up. I just wish it didn't have the wood pillars. I prefer them to be metal. The lights on top of the roof out here in right field. Is there a situ situation where you can set up these home run fences? You can get one in that top section? Maybe in this version of the game. Like I said, I've heard that home runs are easy and the ball flies in this game. And I know they have in home run derby, but that's all I've played. 
I like this section right here with the padded walls for this little deck. The Regal Beagle. Very nice Jedi Yank. This has been a great video for Stadium so far. A lot of fun ones. But, I mean, even if you even if you pull this up right to the home run fence, that's a poke up there. Uh, I think he can do it. Yeah, especially how deep is this one? Oh, no, not this one. <laughs> 375 down the line. That's a bomb. Over here, 315. Another excellent stadium from Jedi. Another excellent stadium from Jedi Yank. Beautiful. Turn the lights on while we're out, meow. Pretty stadium around and behind. Pretty standard, not pretty stadium. Oh, he used the lazy river. Okay. Excellent. I like the big the show parking garage out here too. Oh, and people are watching from the parking garage. Ropers. Can you hit this? Oh yeah, you can get that. Three fifteen down the line. Definitely you can get that. You'll be putting balls on this roof too and over the roof. Especially in a home run derby. Sweet. Again, I I'm, I'm, I love it. I dig it. So I've been saying I want to play RDL games in here, right? The RDL Legends because the RDL stadiums are pretty much already picked. Do we want to take another shot at it for the second? Because we usually play two seasons for each version of the game. We usually start sometime in May because it takes time to make the rosters and stuff like that and then go to about October, November, and then that takes us to the new version of the game. So I'm thinking October, November, maybe we'll have another RDL stadium search. But, yeah, this is a great stadium. Thank you so much, Jedi Yank. I think we have one further down the line from you, too. When you did that test for me, you submitted that second stadium with the newer props. For some reason, I had it set up where you can only submit one request at a time. Maybe I should keep that. I hate to say it, but I'm just so far behind. But, I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to honor the ones that I have. And um, real quick, someone today, I noticed that I took it because I never want to turn away a stadium request. But... They gave me a request in the comments again. Please fill out the form. It's so much easier. It's so much nicer. The form is linked right to my YouTube page, and you can find it on my Facebook channel as well. So thank you, Jedi Yank. I think we'll see more from you later on. Oh, this is great. I love this. You know I like building off the decks for this anomaly. And he closed this off here. Okay, that's cool. And he used the... That looks cool. Too. Oh, I didn't even see this hidden under here. Excellent. Uh, and then he closed it off with the anomaly over here. Awesome. Great work. All right. Now I'm out of here. Moving on. Thank you, Jedi Yank. Okay, we have a new creator to Studio 44. This is Jason43950, and he is sending us major test build. It's somewhere in the USA has an altitude of 2,500 feet, and it was built in the year 2023. So I don't know what major test build means. Like, is this your first stadium? If it is, what the freaking hell? Because it's great. Look at these steps. Look at Oh, they line up with the steps. That's a good idea. That's a great way to do the steps. You're my guy, Jason. I might steal that. Beautiful. And he's got the railing in the middle. This looks like a custom building, right? Yep, using that wall to put Buddy M's on top with the cafe. Hit it here, cafe sign. Can you hit it up there? I doubt it. 330. Yeah, you ain't getting one up there. <sighs> the staircase over here with the show on top. I love it. People are hanging out on that railing. Awesome little concourse in the middle of center field here with this 
You don't see this prop used very much. It's a good idea. Does he got the tram on here? Yep, there's the tram. Sweet. Another Hall of Fame section then here in left center field. I guess it's pretty much dead center field, right? Pretty much behind the back, uh, the batter's eye. Oh, he framed up the little scoreboard here with that utility pole thingy. What do they call this? Metal trestle. Okay. Excellent. Jason, 43950. Excellent. Bunch of fun stuff right behind the home run fence here. The picnic area on that deck. Pool. Steps to get down to the pool. Escalators here. Great. Great work. You got to tell me what major te test build means. This doesn't look like it's your first. Looks like you've got years of experience. Little city out in left field with a street. Faced off in the back with a couple different buildings. Great stadium. Ugh. Man, I can't wait to get in some of these and play some of them. Man, when did we start the RDL Stadium search? Back in, like, October of 23? Here it is in May of 25, and I haven't even used those yet. So, listen, hey, do me a favor, guys. If you have a stadium that you think is is up for being used in the RDL Stadium search, feel free, if you have time, of course. Obviously, I know people like to move on to new projects, and they're excited about new projects, and I get it. But um, please, by all means, go back and tinker with them. Or, you know, add, like, the standing room props and stuff like that. Upgrade them to the 2024 version of the game. But, I mean, again, I get it. If you guys would rather spend time on newer stadiums, so. But just throwing that out there for something. Sometimes I get, I don't have the energy to, like, build a whole new field. So it's fun to go in and tinker. That's why I like the Tinker Challenge. And speaking of which, uh, Sam and Dan did Lake Park. So we're going to take a look at that eventually in this video. Maybe in hour three or four. <laughs> oh, boy. But this is a great stadium. Jason 43950. Love it. Great work. Welcome to Studio 44. Okay. <laughs> I purposely backed out to show you what what the hell's going on i think in the last video i showed you a stadium from dad bod og 7831 and i couldn't remember why but i also put up the name spanky mcslappy 24. he gave me a list of stadiums he wants to be shown eventually here in studio 44. we already saw ralph Climdone and omega park because it was a remake of st Clair. he's got dad bod dome shoggers park if i could read my own handwriting Rogers Park, Dad Bod Park, Cream Royal, Cream Royal, Crown Royal, <laughs> woo, and the Brew House and more. So basically, he's giving me his whole vault to take a look at. So I went to put in his online ID, and I couldn't remember why. I'll speed this up a little bit for you. Okay. So I put in his, there's his user ID search. Look for his vault. Search. They all come up Spanky McSlappy. So that's why I had the two mixed together. But these are all, these are all ones I just read off to you, right? Shoggers and Ralph Klein. WTF, right? <laughs> Ugh. I don't remember which one I was going to show. I think I'm just going to go down the list. Maybe I'll do Dad Bod Dome. That's the first one he sent to me. Dad Bod Field. Here's Dad Bod Dome. Let's look at that one. Like I said, I'm just going down the list and clearing out some stadiums here. This is Dad Bod Dome in Calgary, AB. 
Is that like a province in Canada? Right? That's what they're called, not states. Provinces, right? I could be wrong. Like Ontario. Toronto, Ontario. Province of Ontario, right? Uh, altitude, 4,364 feet. Built in 2017. Again, I mean, is this another rebuild? I remember saying, asking if that Ralph Klein Stadium was a build of a real stadium. He's got a cool little concourse out here with a bunch of concessions, and people are lined up for some home run balls. You got the moving statue out here in left center field, and then a fountain in right center field. I don't use this enough. I, just, I guess I just prefer the modern field level. The seating curls all the way around and behind. Whoa, he's got it lit up way down here. Okay. Whoa, he's got lights all over the place in Dad Bod Dome. I have a dad bod myself. A dad bod plus a grandpa bod and an uncle bod. <laughs> I'm throwing another dad bod. Two dads, a grandpa, and an uncle bod. But the knee's feeling good, so hopefully I'll be able to get to do some exercise and get back in shape a little bit. I tried to just rake up a couple spots on my lawn. My neighbor was gracious enough to uh, mow the lawn for me. Because it's still pretty wet here in upstate New York, and I don't, if my lawnmower gets stuck, I, I can't get it out. You know, normally I just pick it up and yank it out. So I'm kind of nervous to mow the lawn, so he was nice enough to do it for us. And he left some clippings in the spot, and I just tried to rake up the clippings a little bit, and I'm like, <laughs> it's ridiculous how out of shape my fat ass is. This looks great out here, this little concourse with concessions and intentional talk sign. And again, great steps to take you down to check out the game from the home run or the foul territory wall. Very nice left field. This is Dad Bod, uh, Dad Bod at Dome. Did we turn the lights on? Yeah, we turned the lights on pretty early, right? Of all places to get frozen with the lights off. Looks like it could be a retractable roof, of course, if it is called a dome. Faced it off with that longer building. Hard to get a good aerial view with the retractable roof. But it's an excellent little little stadium. Very, it's like a good version of those cookie cutters that I I don't like very much. This This is a nice dialed up version of it. Does the second deck go all the way around? Yes, it does. That's always cool when you can pull that off. And, you know, just a quick glance, it's hard to tell if there's any, like, overlapping laser ribbons either. So that's excellent, excellent work. That's tedious right there. Fantastic. Thank you, Dad Bod or Spanky McSlappy. Hopefully in the next video you'll let me, or in the video that's going to debut in about an hour you'll let me know what you'd rather be called. I mean, it'll be too late for this video, but hopefully by my next video that I record, when I show one of these other stadiums, I'll, I'll know what you prefer to be called. But thank you so much for the stadium. Again, looking through those thumbnails, they look really good, so I can't wait to see them. Archmage, you clever son of a bitch. <laughs> wait till you see this. This is the stadium I wanted to show you from Arch today. National Park, Griffith Park, 1911 to 1914. It's in Washington, D.C. Now, they have this stadium in the game with the bullpen out there in right field, right? They kind of shorten that fence out there a little bit. Now, I first got in here, and I look at the field, and I'm like, what the? And you zoom back. Look at this. He found a way to make the dirt path between home plate and, and pitcher's mound. He's got an anomaly under here, the tan anomaly. I don't know. I don't know which one it is because it's buried. But <laughs> nicely done, buddy. Like, what do I always say? Arch finds a way. He, if he wants something to look a certain way, he finds the freaking way to make it happen. Oh boy, what a beer! Yeah, I remember using the stadium a lot. It's tough to hit one right down the line. It's very deep down the line. Yeah, 406. Wow! 
and then this is closer, but that high wall. Now, in the version that they have in the game, there's like a bullpen or something right here, right? Where you can cut off that home run fence a little bit. ATG, where greats are born. All-time greats. You'll have, to, you'll have to fill me in on that a little bit more, Arch. I know it's a, a Discord server, but is it just basically baseball? I saw that there's some kind of vote going on today. I'm not sure. Here he goes with his little custom little press boxes where people are right in there. They look like they're working. Oh, she's on her phone. Get off your phone. Do some work. Must be bring your kid to, day, kid to work day. Is this what it is? It's, it's a work spot, right? It's not like a luxury suite. There's cameramans up here. Cameramen and woman. Camera operator. What are these things? Oh, it's the back of a scoreboard. Okay. Arch finds a way. Isn't that isn't that the line in uh, Jurassic Park? Uh, uh, Jeff Goldblum says, uh, uh, "Yes, nature finds a way." Yes, yes. Uh, I've I've never done a great Jeff Goldblum either. And uh, uh, yes, I, I know you just uh, 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 do that a lot and and say yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I told you I was going to bust out more impressions. I'm not even tired today. Took the parking garage back here. Yeah, I've never seen the outside of that stadium, but I know this is what it looks like. And again, he doesn't waste, or he doesn't, he doesn't skimp on the villages either, or the cities, or the neighborhoods. ATG Baseball. Yeah, you have to fill me in a little bit more on that, Arch. What did he use for the empty bleachers out here? Is this an anomaly? Yep. Which anomaly is it? Sorry. Oh, okay. It's just the the one backdrop. Okay. One batter is that this one? All right. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if we didn't have to deal with these pieces of shit? If we could kind of come up with our own batter's eyes. I mean, I get it. They want to for competitive online play maybe they just need to kill stadium creator for online play or leave certain templates that are only available for online play and let the rest of us be able to make our stadiums from scratch put that in the ticket speaking of the ticket fill out the ticket sewell's server on discord or my facebook page I have a big ticket written up. I think Arch may have added something to it, so maybe check with him on Discord or whatever. But there's a there's a document going out that you can copy and paste, put in a ticket to SDS, let them know of the things that we want fixed and the things that we want in free, future versions of this game. So maybe instead of another freaking Future City update, we'll get more of a practical update. All right, Arch. Another fantastic stadium. And congrats on making the most popular vault. That was a huge deal for me. I, I was very proud of it. I was very excited for that. All right. Thanks, Arch. Let me know in the comments a little bit more about ATG. Holy crap. As you can see, we have some new props used in this stadium right here. This is SeaWorld Arlington. It's in Texas, altitude of 5,000 feet, built in 2024 from Angry Beer with a three in the middle of it. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. This is so cool. He's got the aquarium out here. Oh, he's shooting that. I knew there was a purpose for that thing. Great idea. This is that new big circle that we were wondering what the hell you're going to use that for. He used it for windows. Excellent. And you can see right in here, you got all the monsters in there to make it, you know, like whales. And you got the big jellyfish looking thing in there. Woo, I'm right in here. Don't eat me. Don't sting me, jellyfish. I'm not going to pee on myself. So don't sting me. SeaWorld Arlington. And he's got that shell. It looks like a peanut, right? Like a, like they put a peanut through one of those nail things <laughs> to give you the shape of a peanut. And then, of course, he's got the SeaWorld or the Aquatic Center arch thingy that I always say could double as a roof. Great concourse out here in center field. Jaws Aquarium. I like it. 
steps leading up to it so you can take a look inside there gorgeous and then he's using he's using that anomaly from the update the ancient ruins looking thing mossy ruins perfect he's got people hanging out in here people sitting in here excellent excellent use of the new props see there's purpose for them there's stuff that can be done with them a bunch of stuff going on in the concession area. Shamu Sweets. Fantastic. Oh, and he's got the anomaly out here in left center. He's cutting off the field. All right. Looks good. This is cool. This is a cool concept. Could you imagine being able to see the game through this window? If there's people in there hanging out watching? It's like you're right on the field. I mean, I know you kind of get that vibe here too, but... I mean, this you're like literally almost right on the field. Literally almost. Does that... That probably doesn't work. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's got the quartered off using the, the beams or the bases and then the toppers. See, I think this these are fun. I I can get on board with these props. I think I think you can make enough fun out of them. Then he's got the one prop kind of curled back here into left center field with people in there eating and watching the game through the little slab window thingies. And then there's a little deck out here too. These three they get this decked all themselves. Is that guy even watching the game? He looks like he's looking down the first baseline. Maybe there's a cute girl down there or something. Yeah, see, he ain't looking at the game. He's checking out some hot babe over here, right? Sorry, please don't be offended. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. Angry beer beer three i think he has a couple maybe we'll see another one from him today this looks like almost giant speakers boom, boom, boom. back to the future style I'm gonna blow everybody out of the freaking stadium found a use of this walkway looks cool see i can and it looks cool from the outside too see i can get on board with these i know a lot of you hate them I know a lot of you guys hate them a lot, but I, I think they could be fun. Look at all that stuff going on in center field. Wow, what a video, huh? A lot, of, a lot of cool stadiums in this. And you got a portal out here. Nothing really going on in this part, huh? Looks cool from the outside as well. Wow, that's as far back as I can zoom. Sorry, I'm getting away from my mic. I hope you can hear me when I do that. Yeah, definitely concentrate on the inside of the stadium. That's that's what I tend to do as well. Beautiful work. Angry beer with the three in the middle of it. This concourse is fun. Oh, the vendor receptacles, that's right. They have like replicator. Okay. There's little fountains back here, a little pod looking thing. So fun. All right. See, I yeah, I'm on board. I'm in. Oh, he's got the aquatic center back here too, right? Isn't this an aquarium too? I believe so. My wife loves going to aquariums. We went to the one right next to Sky Dome. I want to say in 2017, 18. The first game Judge ever played center field in the majors. We were there for that in Toronto. And then afterwards, we went to the aquarium. I always wanted to go up to CN Tower. All the, I've, I've been to Toronto countless times to watch Yankees and Blue Jays. Never been up to CN, to, uh, CN Tower. And I want to. There's a glass uh, floor that you can look straight down. That sounds badass. All right. Thank you, Angry Beer. I freaking love it. I'm, I'm in. Did I turn the lights on? Maybe I better do that. A lot going on with the lights in this place, right? Yeah, the new props. A lot of little highlights. 
Come on, guys. You're telling me you can't get creative with this stuff? I know it's frustrated because you, because you basically have to make a whole stadium, you know, with this theme. You can't blend a lot of the seating and stuff like that with, you know, traditional stadium type stuff. But you, you can create, you can get creative with this stuff. I feel like there's enough stuff to use within the stadium. Oh, and he's got water coming here. I wonder if like some some little guys can travel under here, and then you can look at them from out here. That could be fun. I'm, I love it. Great work, buddy. Welcome to Studio Forty Four. I think we have another one from you, but I'm not a hundred percent on that, so we'll see. But thank you for this one. I I dig it big time. We're sticking with an aquatic theme as someone named Tiger Shark 600 gives us Jack Park in Las Vegas, Nevada. Altitude of 2,001 feet, built in 2022. He is new to Stadium 44, and he is very welcome to the channel because, man, just looking at the thumbnail, I could tell I really liked center field with all this water action going on. There it is. I mentioned in a recent video, you don't see this one as much as you'd think. And he's using it here with it being surrounded by more waterfalls and then a cool concourse in the back with a bunch of concession stands. Got your flags working. Excellent little field level seating out here in left and in right. So pretty symmetrical out here. Fun area in right field right down the line. Oh, we're going to hit some balls in there, aren't we? People are hit, hanging out behind the home run fence here. How deep are we right here? 364. So that's a poke back here on this deck. Fun stuff going on. Holy crap, a lot of people watching from up here. The backwards K Club. Struck them out looking. These people look like they're in line. Holy shit. Are they in line for this place? Must be good food in there. Or are they just walking? They, they could be just walking. Tiger Shark 600. Welcome to Studio 44, buddy. Glad to have you. This corner's handled very well. Oh, these guys are just standing right here. On the steps. Cool. Made a little garage. That's a good way to make a little custom garage. Look at that. Where all the landscaping and... grounds crew uh, materials are sorry my phone text little city going on in the background giving it a vegas vibe oh look at the stacked lights that's fun little pyramid then he's got that one office building as a facing to the outside or an entrance jack park how do those look Jack Prack? Is that? Well, it said Jack Park, right? That's what I looked up. Is Jack Prack um, someone this park is named after? Got some retired numbers out there. 42, 24, 43, 27, 34, and 9. And WH. I'm sure that's paying homage to somebody. Very nice. He's got some pine trees out in center field. Again, the casinos are all lit up, and the buildings are lit up. That's a good move by San Diego Studios, lighting some of those up. I think it makes it much more realistic. I don't know why I need to bother with the ones behind, but I've said it before, I'll say it again. Is it, wouldn't it be nice if we could swivel? I'd like to have this, these buildings in my backdrop once instead of, you know, this same one. This one with the little pyramid thing on top drives me nuts. I don't know why, but I always cover it up when I use that big city. All right, Tiger Shark. I dig it, man. Center field, definitely my favorite part. I like all the waterfalls and the green f facing out there with the trees. Excellent. Excellent, excellent work. You don't see this grass pattern used very much, too. I like it. I like this outfield. I wish you could, you know, mix and match it. Do you guys... <laughs> You must, right? You must get sick of me hearing saying the same shit over and over and over and over again. I'm sorry. But, all right, we still have a lot to see, so let's move on. Thank you, Tiger Shark 600. 
Okay, we have another one from our good buddy Jedi Yank. I believe I mentioned that I thought we had two. This is Vault Tech Stadium. It's in Liberty City, USA, like GTA Liberty City. Altitude of 4,580 feet, built in 2024. And as you can see, taking full advantage of the new props. Look at this stadium out here. This is fun. Come on, guys. You guys can do it. Arch. You can do this, Arch. I want to see futuristic stadium out of you, buddy. This is cool how he's got it, like, curved around and then into this anomaly out here, the new anomaly. People are hanging out on the top deck. Fun. Mixing in the new scoreboard. And then he's got the new <laughs> um, modem. <laughs> Come on. Tell me that don't look like a modem. That's a modem right there. <laughs> it's the modem building topped off with this guy i like this guy this has the tie fighter window right only it's diamond shaped and not circles then you got the filling station way up here jedi yank making a fun stadium with the new props i like it then you got this guy over the little dome thingy People are hanging out in the deck. Look, this is smart. Using the... Or making the ground, you know, that color with this, with these props. Makes a lot of sense. Then there's the Justice League building. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. Robin was voiced by Casey Kasem back then. Hi, this is Casey Kasem. Jedi Yank writes, Dear Casey, please show my stadium Vault Tech. <laughs> Fun stuff in the middle of the parking lot. I dig it, dig it. Oh, here's, okay. Building all the way around this. Let's turn the lights on. Look at that. Look at all that. It's fun. I like it. I know you guys don't. Or a lot of you guys don't. Jedi Yank obviously does. This is great. And Angry Beer does too, right? He used it. Oh, look at how blue. Is that from the from my laser ribbon, the Yankees? Now, did you have to put the... Yeah, you had to put those in there. Okay. Very nice. I like it. This is my least favorite part. The fact that you can't bring these in. That's really freaking annoying. Because even if you wanted to bring them in, because they don't have one long enough. And even if you wanted to bring them in and just not have the walkway. Why can't I let go of it? There we go. You can just have the walkway not line up. You can't because you can't. You literally can't bring it close enough to the field. Look, he's only at 78%. And oh, you can't see because of the stupid. But I'm still not even close to that thing. It's, I mean, patch that up, guys. Come on. This building's fun. He kind of blended it together to make a little plaza or building in there where you can do a concessions or whatever. Very nice. Oh, okay. He kind of hid this building just to use those little globe thingies. Very nice, Jedi Yank. I dig it. I'm in. Did we look inside the stadium with the lights on? Yeah, we did. I remember looking at the blue. Okay. It's still fun. Are you guys still with me? Are you guys still awake? <laughs> Is anybody still watching? I'm probably watching this by myself with the premiere right now. I apologize, by the way, for not watching the premiere to my last video. You guys made some fun comments, and I wasn't there. I That was Saturday, right? May 4th. We were out. We watched Book of Mormon, and then we went out to dinner. Well, we picked up my PlayStation Portal first. Then we went out to dinner, and then we went to Phantom Menace. So I didn't get a chance to watch live with you. So Look, this right here, it looks like the Star Wars from back, back there anyway with the lights on. It looks like Darth Vader's ship just landed to collect Luke and bring him to the Death Star and return to the Jedi. 
All right. Fun stuff, Jedi Inc. I love it. I'm in. I can't wait to do the ballpark at the Moonshot Casino with some of this stuff. Okay. Justice Beaver 24 gave us a stadium in a very recent video. This time, Greenland Park is next from that creator. Big City, USA. Altitude of 600 feet. Built in the year 2024. I'm probably sabotaging the premiere of this video. <laughs> But, I mean, people are usually in and out. Oh, I love right field. Oh, I like raising the anomaly up and using the windows through it. I dig it. Bullpen out here. Three home plates. Three pitcher's mounds. Okay. But I probably killed this, sabotaged the premiere of this video. But I got seven more stadiums to show you after this one. <laughs> Biggest and best yet. Come on. Anomalies in center field. Fantastic. Got some... Here, you got some new props mixed in. See? Some of them work. Oh, I like this little custom concourse, too. Blended into the... Yeah, to the St. Louis Steakhouse building. Fun. Nice work, Justice Beaver. With the little peaks here the tr the triangles awesome yeah parking garage back here new building back there luxury seats built into this new or this building new that's like that's day one right that building another bullpen very nice see i can get on board with this little dead space i mean i can live with that but some of the bigger de dead spaces. See, even this. I think that's too much dead space. You got to work with this SDS. We need a solution to that. Or someone who can come up with another glitch. Or a mod somehow. Here's a fun little concourse with the Phillies anomaly. Acting as like a stairway or walkway between these two little sections. Fun. He covered up this restaurant seating place. Very nice. Very good stadium, Justice Beaver, 24. Pretty standard around and behind. We're going to get to our usual spot to turn the lights off. Very quirky dimensions, too. I dig that. Very nice. This, 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 is that the top of it? I don't remember that being on the top. Pac Man up there. I don't know. Turn the lights on. Justice Beaver. Oh, I like it. I like how we put the scoreboard connected to the two light towers. Very nice. The newer building out in right center. Got a steamboat on the water back there cool yeah i mean it's a long video but uh, there's been really good stadiums in here i like this one a lot too very very good is that is that the old school roof right there oh no it's uh contemporary roof turned around all right very creative use of it And I like how this concourse kind of curls all the way around into the, into the seating back here. Cool stuff. Justice Bieber has given us two stadiums so far, and they're both very, very good. Thank you, Justice Bieber 24. Just rolling with the new creators here today in this stadium extravaganza video. Venom 1120, or 1120. Gives us East Harlem Stadium. He says this is the first time he's put together an imagined park in his old neighborhood. Altitude of 5,279 feet, which is the max. And it was built in the year 2024. And it looks really good so far. Right field looks fun with all the buildings. And it's labeled East Harlem. Scoreboard on top. The show. Concession out in right center field. People are clamoring 
for whatever they have to serve. I like how they're blended together. Very Angel-esque stadium in right field where there's like the two angles of seats blended right into each other. That looks really good. And you got people hanging out on top on some bleachers and all kinds of stuff. Oh, new, the new seats again. Blended around, giving you a minor league park feel. Oh, I like this. Like this extra guy just sitting by himself behind home plate. That's fun. Very nice. You got an escalator taking you all the way up. This is a good way to do it, to make a longer escalator. You know, kind of close them off or, you know, level them out at one point and then keep them going. Then you got a brand new concession stand built into this classical looking building. Classic, you know, classical? Not classical. Old school looking building. Section of bleachers out here in left. Giant scoreboard in left as well. Beautiful. It's fun. It looks like an old school stadium that was renovated using the Camden Yards warehouse building as kind of a facing. And then you got older buildings in right center field too, and then the New York City style apartment buildings. This building's kind of blended together. Great work. Venom 1120. Another new creator to Studio 44. I can't, I can't believe that there's this many people still finding the channel and joining the fun. Thank you guys so much for tagging along. I love this. The concourse kind of curves all the way around. Super fun. Very nice little stadium. I love it. Old with the new. Turn the lights on a little prematurely. Why does that look so dark? He's got plenty of lights out here. He's got lights all over the place. Is that just me? That looks a little... Well, no. Yeah, down here it looks better when you get up here and change the angle. I don't know. Is it because of the new props, maybe? I don't know. But if you get down, that looks, yeah, that looks better. Huh. Weird. Oh, and then he, oh, no, wait. Yeah, that's part of the new props. Okay. I thought it was that one building that a lot of people use. The slanted roof that kind of overhangs. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Venom 1120. Welcome to Studio 44. Thanks for joining us, man. Love it. Once again, a new creator to Studio 44. He gives us 30ville Field. He also has 30ville High School in his vault and wants to have it seen. This is in 30ville, Ohio. Pretty much the match. Well, this is the max altitude. Isn't that a foot higher than the max altitude? Built in 2024, you can see right over there his <laughs> his gamer tag. I'm not going to try to say that. I don't even know if there is a way to say that. <laughs> but there it is, and here it is. Putting balls deep into a lake or river over here. Oh, look, there's another field over here. Cool. It's weird how things kind of catch your attention. Wait, What? Oh, he put in a little concord smart to make it um, an alder infield. Fun idea. Yeah, softball field, I'm guessing it's supposed to be. Or a little league field with an alder infield. Those can be brutal. You hit that thing and a bunch of dust flies up in your face. Beautiful being right on the water with that city in the background. Very, very nice. Having the tower stick up out of there. How's it look lit up? I'm jumping ahead of myself, but I'm curious. Oh, that looks amazing. 
Fantastic. He's got some of the... Oh, no, he's just got... Oh, the hospital has trees on it. Okay. Did the hospital lit up like that all the time? Or does he have lights out here someplace? I just can't see. I don't remember the hospital being that well lit. Because I, I use the hospital in a good chunk of... For a good chunk. Oh, there's a light. I see it now. Okay. Yeah, right here. He's hanging out. All right. Great work. And then he's got more lights hidden around places. He's got a track and a soccer field. Okay, he's got a football field blended into the race track, it looks like. Trying to give it more of a track and field look. Or trying to get the extra seating out of it. I'm trying to get it back. Oh, I can just hit the circle. There we go. Get it back to where it was. All right. And then another football field back here. Maybe that's the practice field or the JV field. Funky little parking lot out here. People are waiting to get in through the cold drink and steakhouse building. You got the little watchtower out here. Maybe, we'll dub maybe doubling as a lighthouse. 30ville field. Very fun. Oh, the stands back right up. Okay, people are watching on the bleachers. Or watching the football game on the bleachers. And then right on the field, we got the wolf howling away with a little bleacher section and people standing behind that watching the game. Another wolf out here behind this dugout. Very, very cool. Yeah, sometimes these little stadiums can be fun. Oh, does this prop come with the... Oh, no, this is great. Nice. It's, built, it's bleachers from the top. Very, very good idea. Bleachers from the top of that building. 30 Ville Field. 30 Ville Field. Nice little quiet little stadium with a gorgeous view. I can't get over that city. It's one of the better cities I've seen. He's he's clearly got his own lighting out there and then using the buildings that, you know, light up themselves. It looks so good at night. Love to hit some balls with DJ Jackson in that water and then have that in the background. The ball soaring through the air. It's just something majestic about it. Like in 1995, that big playoff game between the Yankees and the Mariners, I think it was game two, when Paul O'Neill, Ruben Sierra, and Don Mattingly hit those home runs. I think Paul O'Neill's especially the camera shot, the camera, camera angle of that ball just flying into the seats. Just so majestic. Using Buddy's M's as either an entrance to the game or concessions. People are in line for the team store. People must like 30 Vils merch. Very nice. I've been looking at the city. I don't think I took a good look at the field yet with the lights on. There we go. Yeah, looks amazing. Great work, X, Y, N, third, three, thirty, X, Y, Z, elemental P. <laughs> Sorry, again, I'm not making fun of your thing. I'm just making fun of me trying to say it. All right. Now I'm anxious to see how the high school looks. We have a remix stadium from our buddy Sandman Dan. He decided to take a look at Lake Park from Al Pickles and give us Lake Park Remix, even though it's not labeled Remix, but it's in Spring Lake, Michigan, uh, max altitude, built in 2022, and you can tell right off the bat, he went a little crazy in right field. Holy crap, that looks amazing. The two plaza-level layers of upper deck, replacing the warehouse that he had out there, that Al Pickles had out there, fun little roof and the play ball sign little concourse around here in right field. 
You got the Steamboat Bar in right center. Putting some, uh, the Aloha Jones, is it? I think it is. Out on this deck, or dock, or pier, or bridge, whatever you want to call it. He kept the bleacher section out here and left. Oh, I think he added all this too, right? This is fun. With some concession stands down here and people hanging out at the picnic area, watching the game standing up. He added canoes. Of course you got to add canoes. Beautiful. Or did Al Pickles already have the canoes? I don't remember. I like putting the glove out there on the island with the Hit It Here Park. That's fun. Steve Stewart will be aiming for that. How deep is that? 345, 363. He might. In the home run derby, he might get it out there. He just might. You got some steamboats and some piers and docks and harbors and cities and convention centers and radio towers and mountains. Fun. Perfect buildings and always get put the piers out here with the carnival or the fair, whatever you call that. Amusement park. Is this part? Yep, that's part of it. Okay. I mean, that just looks like a marina-type building right there. A building you'd see, you know, where water is near. Pretty standard around and behind. Got the convention center behind and that circular duo building. I love the base of that building, too. That brick is good. It's It looks a lot like the brick on the end caps. Very nice work, Sandman Dan. Remixing Lake Park from Al Pickles. So I'll do this here once. And I won't bring it up at the end of the video. I'll bring up all the remix stadiums that are available. Cabral Field, Lake Park, Marina Bay Park, and Samsung Energy Park. Cabral Field is... Camu Bra 20, Lake Park is Al Pickles, Marina Bay Park is Sam Dan, and Samsung Energy Park is St. Louis Cards 0728. Also, I've offered mine up. I would love for people to take a look at my stadiums, especially now since I've tinkered with them myself. But, all right, let's take a look at another stadium that Sam and Dan gave us. This is Hollywood Hills New Dodger Stadium. It's in Los Angeles, California, 2,600 feet, built in 2024. And once again, he's given us a great concourse with Sandy Koufax and Jackie Robinson out here with those crappy wooden slab numbers. God, I hate them. I hate them so much, you guys. I hate them so much, you guys. A cool little scoreboard. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Oh, okay. It's that new, like, hologram. Very nice. Dan. Oh, this dude, you piss me off, Dan. Just as much as Murph. <laughs> Beautiful. Great idea to kind of highlight the scoreboard. Very, very nice. And then a cool way to use that new walkway to surround the outside of the stadium. Very fun. Lasorda's Pasta. R.I.P. Tommy. <laughs> the people on my... the Some of the people who I used to work with in radio would call him up and prank him. <laughs> I don't know how they got his number. I don't even think they know how they got his number. <laughs> oh, boy. He is dead, right? Tommy Lasorda. I like this. I need to figure out a way to use this more. I love that circular with the built-in fence already in there. And he blends. He turned it in concession stand. No wiffle ball here. It's just a nice little deck. Very nice. Then it's got this, the natural staircase built in. Yeah. Fun. With the Phillies anomaly out there, taking up area in the corner. That's kind of hard sometimes. Great work. And then again, new props. Very, very nice. I like it. Oh, he's got the plaza level seating on top. That's a good idea. Kind of gives you a new um, broadcast booth and official scores booth. This building is one of... No, oh no, it's the other one with balconies. That's Dan Staple. This is the loft. You got food and drinks. 
big screen TVs in there. People are watching the game on the TVs. People are out in the balcony. And then you got the home run deck with the rest of the retired numbers for the Dodgers. More works of art from our good buddy Sam and Dan. Holy shit. It's 7.30. My premiere's on right now. <laughs> I wonder if I can watch it while I record. I'm going to try this. This could be fun. I'm going to try to get caught up on some stadiums. So this is going to be another longer video with a lot of stadiums. Um, if I haven't gotten to your stadium yet, we do have So I'm going to turn it down. I don't think we need to hear me twice. I think one of me is annoying enough. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching! Exclamation point. I am literally recording a new video while this is premiering, LOL. <laughs> That's how backed up I am on stadiums. Okay, I'm going to keep peeking back and forth while i keep recording here plus my wife's gonna be home i gotta make dinner for her and everything man but sam and dan excellent work again gorgeous using the new props oh i like this the continuation of this deck with the scoreboard walk very nice the bleacher section and the plaza level section so good dan's good man what can we say now the dog's barking outside. All right, Dan. Brilliant as always. Be oh, I didn't realize the roofs. Why? I mean, I've looked at like four stadiums with these roofs on it. Why didn't I realize they lit up that much? Have I been paying that little attention? My dear Lord. Oh, he's got a great entrance, too. He should know him better. Dan always does that, too. Dan likes those center field and or the behind home plate entrances. The Dodgers written out. Very nice, Dan. Captain G-Man has another stadium for us. Mug Root Beer Ballpark in Salt Lake City, Utah. Altitude of 4,300 feet. Built in 2024. Excellent. Uh, Salt Lake, they're really pushing for a, an expansion team or for the A's to move over there, aren't they? Man, a lot of work into this one. Holy crap. G-Man giving us a second stadium. He gave us one last video, right? <laughs> I could be watching it right now. Let's see. Oh, no, I messed up Slick. I was saying it was the Arizona one. I was wrong. It's T-Sizzle. The Arizona one's on right now. Wagon Man Stadium. Wow, 15 people watching. All right. I like the premieres. The premieres are fun. I, like Again, like I said, I missed my own last one uh, Saturday. But Captain G-Man, very nice. Got these decks out here and the uh, concession stands. Fenced in all this greenery around the fountain. I like it. Then you got a couple gloves and the home run. Man, it's just jamming stuff in here. I like it. Pools, decks, fountains all over the place. Buildings with people hanging out in the balconies. Another home run deck. Pretty standard around and behind. Yep. Little scoreboards up here. Pretty nice throw on some lights <laughs> oh i told my joke i told my dad joke and now someone else dad bod okay dad bod og what is snoop's favorite part of his steak the grizzle <laughs> yes i love my dad jokes thank you dad bod again this is stuff you miss if you don't watch the premieres but it's fun all right, Captain G-Man at the same time. I'm recording your stadium. You got the city in the background, the new building. Yeah, see the new prop. Do they light up pretty good? They have to, right? No, interesting. Okay. I thought they would have. Faced off the... That's a good move, using the fan stairs to face off the stadium. Helps kind of clean it up on the outside. I get it. I mean, you don't really see it, but again... It's nice when, you know, you're showcasing these stadiums to have it cleaned off. All right, Captain G-Man, thank you so much. I think you said in the comments this was your second effort. Yep, and it's good. Very nice indeed. Okay, we're almost there, guys. <laughs> I think we have two left. Bear with me. Okay, it looks like we have another stadium from Angry Beer, Twin Light Stadium in Arlington, Texas. 
altitude of 5,100 feet, built in 2024. You don't see this backdrop very much, but it works here. He has the Texas Hill Anomaly right behind it and the big scoreboard out here. And then he's got like the stacked layered. I like this. I like this look. It kind of limits you know, your targets, but it looks really good. And you got the party deck over here with singers blended into this building. Very fun. You got the hit it here sign. Yeah, that's a poke. I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, do you really hit much over the the guys if there's two layers like this of seating? Holy crap, look at all the anomalies going on over here in this corner. Awesome. Very fun. Not so standard around and behind. This is great. Blended in with the steakhouse like this. I like that a lot. You got the fountain behind the dugout. People are hanging out behind the fountain. Very nice. He's got the grill up here with a couple little scoreboards. Cherry blossom tree hanging out up here by itself. This is fun. Angry Beer's got some good stuff. I think this is the template I started to make Hollywood Hills out of, and I ended up bagging it. I don't know what it is. I always tell myself, you know what? I'm going to leave it. I'm going to use that template, and I'm going to leave it. But I never do. He's got that little walkway around here again. And he's got the brown complex building blended into the left field seats. Another good stadium from Angry Beer. Excellent. He's got the lighthouse back here with the pier. Uh, and this one is from Angry Beer, right? With the three in the middle. Very nice. Let's take the take a look with the lights on. I like that anomaly. I like that mossy anomaly hill thingy, whatever it's called. Very nice with the lights on too. Blending in those layers of seats together is fun. A lot of fun stuff in this stadium. I like I really like the third baseline. That's really cool. And then the stands kind of blend around too. Very, very nice. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. Using some signs to to put on the little base areas where there's no windows. Looks good. Ooh, I like this little section too. What's that from? Oh, the same anomaly. Okay. But that's cool, just kind of sticking out right there. It looks good. All right. I have to get down to Arlington. I hear they have good barbecue down there. I love me some ribs right about now. Oh, the, I didn't notice this either. Using the anomaly to get some people on here with the little luxury type seating situation. Outstanding. All right, guys. Is it possible? Are we down to our last stadium? Yes. Our next stadium is the last one of this record-breaking two-hour, 40-minute recording session. <laughs> I'll cut a lot out. I mean, obviously, you don't see all the loading, so it'll be a shorter video by the time we get to the end. So bear with me. A king for life gives us Nova Stadium, Springfield, Virginia, altitude of 237 feet, and it was built in 2024. He said this is the home of the Virginia Vipers in his franchise. He has some hidden concessions. And he was Myron K. Sorry, I hope that's okay to announce that, on the live feed that we had last week. A week ago from today, actually, right? Today's Tuesday, the 8th, 7th. But should be my last full week off before I'm back to work. I should be back a week from Thursday. My doctor's appointment is Tuesday. You got the Verizon press box out here and left. Some anomalies underneath. Very, very nice. And again, using this anomaly in right field, I love it. Because you're going to be pummeling balls off that. Those line drive home runs. Yeah, it's only 300 feet down the line. That's fun. When you hit those line drives and you just 
boom, and just slam into something. I love it. You got people hanging out on those decks that kind of peer out, uh, peek out here. Yep, these guys are at that little peak. More guys back here behind the batter's eye, or almost behind the batter's eye. Next to the batter's eye, we'll call it. I mean, next to the batter's eye. And I like the luxury seating up top. Said it before, I'll say it again. Yeah, you got to have luxury seating where you can get foul balls and home run balls, especially home run balls, right? I mean, you pay all that money, you have all these extra, you know, perks and stuff, but you don't get the opportunity to catch a ball a lot of times. So it's cool when you put luxury seating in the home run section. And with it being only 300 feet down the line, you can definitely reach these. Hell, you can go over. I'll bet DJ Jackson put some balls over that. You got to get it high fast, though. Got a parking garage. Oh, look at this. Wow. This is a fantastic entrance with the escalators and that restaurant in front. Beautiful. Parking garage connected to the stadium. Excellent. A king for life. I believe this is your first stadium, right? Beautiful. I like a lot of these compact stadiums. It's really, you know, intimate. I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> you got these two little towers out here on top of the convention center. A bunch of signs in a row there, too. Looks fantastic at night, too. A king for life. I like this little Verizon press box area. Definitely going to be hitting balls off that or over it, too. Oh, I can't wait to play in some of these stadiums. 300 on the line there, too. So, yeah. Oh, that's fun. Look at this. On top of that new prop right here. Right? This is new, isn't it? Yeah, that's fun. With the wiffle ball field up there. People are lined up in that little circle. And up top, people are going to be... This isn't the one from Philly, right? The Philly has that flat white wall, right? That was fun. I have video of kids hitting when I went to Philly in 18, 6, 7. I don't remember. It was, the, it was Luis Severino's best year. He pitched the second game. That's the game I got um, my Stanton batting practice ball. Maybe I can show you a picture of that. I've got two balls from Stanton in Pennsylvania. Isn't that crazy? I have a batting practice ball in Philly. I had to reach over a little bit to catch it. I stole it right from another kid's glove. Not a little kid. <laughs> he was like in his 20s, okay? So I don't think I'm a dick because I stole a ball from a little kid. But I, I have one from him in Philly in batting practice and then my bare hand catch in Pittsburgh in 22. I can look up the highlight. It's crazy. I can't remember what the website is, but if you Google it, there's a way to look up every single pitch in Major League Baseball. I don't know how far back it goes, but I Googled it, and you can find the pitch that he fouled off and I caught. And you can hear the crowd a little bit cheer when I caught it because I had a popcorn bucket in one hand, and they just grabbed it with one. I wish, I wish it would have been caught on film or video. Oh, I like the home run hideout, too. Fun. H hideout was a perfect name for that. Because there's all the moss, and, you know, you're behind it, and you got these little spots that poke out. Paying homage to Jackie down here. Got the escalator bringing you down to this little concourse area. Very, very nice. A king for life. I hope you're a Studio 44 fan for life. And I hope you contribute stadiums to this game for life. Nova Stadium in Springfield, Virginia. Very, very nice. Thank you so much, A King for Life. And thank you, <laughs> anyone who continued through this whole video. Almost three hours. <laughs> You know, it might kill the premiere because no one's going to stick around for a two-hour video. Because even if I clip a lot of this, it's going to be long. But eh, I figured I'd, I'll try it. You know, people on average watch my videos for six minutes anyway. But it's been a lot of fun. Great stadiums in this video. So 
Yeah, I, I think it's worth it to kind of get caught up because, like I said, I really want to get the Ricky Davis League guys done so I can come in here and play some games. And I want to showcase some of my new stadiums. I want to rebuild the ballpark at the Moonshot Casino. So, um, yeah, we'll get that going. But I got to wrap it up because I got to make dinner. I got to feed my dog and so on and so forth. So if you have a stadium you want to showcase here in Studio 44, remember, please, 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 please use the new form. It's linked right here on my YouTube channel, and it's linked in my Facebook page. So go ahead and follow that link, and we'll showcase your stadium as soon as possible. Don't forget to check out Respect the Pick. We just did the Star Wars list over the weekend, check that out on TikTok. Search Respect the Pick on TikTok. You'll find a lot of little clips. You'll find some of the dumb stuff we've done. And you'll see that Star Wars list and then be on the lookout for a Star Wars episode where we talk about why we ranked them the way we ranked them. Don't forget to give Frankie Q's Stadium a shot. Athletic Park in Wizzo, Wisconsin. That's it. Like the video if you did, in fact, like it. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with us, and we'll see you very soon.